Hello everyone, my name is Roberto Carvalho and I'm here with my colleague Igor Santos who will show you a gas detection system using the MQ2 sensor to the Arduino platform. This project is a part of the discipline Automation and Control of Chemical Processes ministered by our professor Renato Duta Pereira Filho in the Universidade Federal do Rio Grande do Sul. Since the early civilizations until today, the demand for methods for monitoring and detection of gas grew bigger, both in the residential sphere and industrial sphere. The necessity for these technologies are no doubt crescent. In the last century, through the advent of the automation and control sciences, it became possible the creation of electrochemical capable of monitoring and controlling of leaking of gases. With this in mind, the authors of this project plan the assembling, implementation, and experimentation of a flammable gas detection system through an Arduino Uno microcontroller, utilizing an electrochemical gas sensor MQ2. Through the design of a code in the programmer to Arduino Uno that is capable of giving the read values by the sensor through the qualitative tests with the object of measuring the speed and constant of the read values given by the sensor by emulating a partial closed system of LPG and the behavior of all the system during the execution of the tests. Arduino is a family of microcontrollers and a software creation environment that makes it easy for you to create programs that can interact with the physical world. Things you make with Arduino can sense and respond to touch, sound, position, heat, and light. This type of technology often referred to as physical computing, used in all kinds of things, from the iPhone to an automobile electronic system. Arduino makes it possible for anyone, even people with no programming or electronics experience or skills, to use this rich and complex technology. This project is presented as follows. In the first part, we will show the objective. In the second part, we will show the experimental procedure and the code implementation. In the third part, we will discuss the results and the conclusion. In the end, we will mention suggestions and recommendations for future projects like this. The MQ2 sensor is sensible to LPG, butane, propane, methane, alcohol, carbon monoxide, hydrogen, and also smoke. Can be used to detect gas leakings in industry or in homes. The resistance and the sensitivity of the sensor varies with the gas concentration in study. The sensible material of the MQ2 sensor is the tin dioxide, which possesses a lot of advantages in terms of proper properties like the high sensitivity, low temperature of operation, a thermal stable structure, and present uh, low conductivity in the atmospheric air. We can see that the detection ranges is relatively wide and a considerable amount of different gases can be detected. The LPG was the gas used to do this experiment. The electrochemical sensors operate by reacting the target gas, producing an electrical sign in proportion to the gas concentration. The gas that enters in contact with the sensor first passes through a small capillary and diffuses itself through the electrophobic membrane barrier and eventually touches the electrode surface. This method is adopted to permit the passage of the proper quantity of the gas to the reaction to produce a sufficient electric signal at the same time as it prevents the electrolyte from leaking the sensor. With a resistor connected to the electrodes, a proportional current to the gas concentration flow between the anode and the cathode. The current can be measured to determine the gas concentration. The gas diffuses itself in the sensor through the membrane in the sensible electrode. When the gas touches the electrode, the electrochemical reaction occurs. It can be either an oxidation or a reduction, depending on the type of the gas. The sensor detects and amplifies the current, which is a function of the concentration of the gas measured, and scales in the end according to the calibration. The instrument shows the gas concentration in the input, for example, in ppm for toxic gases, and percent values for oxygen. Another important factor is the interference. Electrochemical sensors are affected minimally by the pressure changes, but temperature changes have a significant influence over them. In general, when the temperature is higher than 25 Celsius degree, the sensor will obtain a higher value. When it's lower than 25 Celsius degree, it will obtain lower values. The temperature effects stay typically between 0.5 to 1% per each Celsius degree per high. The selectivity degree depends on the type of the sensor, the gas in question, and the concentration with the gas is designed to detect. The electrochemical sensors are well-known targets for interference that comes from the presence of other gases. The higher concentration, less the interference in the sensor. These interferences can cause false readings or even false alarms. 
assembling. To begin the qualitative experimental phase of the flammable gas sensor, it was necessary to assemble the physical system composed by a microcontroller Arduino and by the sensor gas MQ2. The connections between the sensor and the Arduino were made according to the following schematic in number one. The resulting physical system assembled in the laboratory are shown in the picture two below. The physical system elaborated for the qualitative tests for flammable gas detection are illustrated below. Code. For the LPG detection tests, the following code were written and implemented in the Arduino software to obtain results from the sensor along the tests, where we have the reading of the data acquired by the analog pin A0, and these values are printed with the time that the reading took place. Tests. The test was executed in three runs without previous calibration of the sensor, where a closed system was emulated with a gas leakage, in which the gas used was the LPG, that presents a detection range from 200 to 5000 ppm to the MQ2 sensor, being fed to the system through a lighter during 35 seconds and then the system will close for more 180 seconds. In order to analyze the behavior of the sensor, in relation to the dispersion and concentration of the propane and isobutane gases fitted to the system, as well as disturbs caused to the system in a total of 3 minutes and 35 seconds per run. You can notice a pattern, a pattern in the system behavior for all the three runs due to three distinct movements of the experiment. In the first moment, the sensor still haven't detected any LPG presence in the system and give constant results related to the composition of the ambient air. In a second moment, the sensor accuses the presence of the LPG in the system, which results in a significant addition to the values obtained by the sensor, resulting in a peak of the values of the concentrations read by the MQ2 sensor. In the third moment, in which propane and isobutane concentrations oscillations present in the system became practically constant, Due to dispersion of the system gases, and the values obtained by the sensor gradually decreases in a proportional way of which the gas leaves the system. Note that during the tests, the decrease of the values detected by the sensor behave in a non-linear manner. This is due to disturbs caused to the system, interference, and the non-ideal insulate system used during the tests. Conclusions: The flammable gas detection system with an MQ2 sensor show it to be highly sensitive to exposure to the gas used in the test, and the answers obtained through the stimulation of the sensor were very quick, which aggregates value to the system due to its low cost and low complexity of assembly and a simple program required for the gases monitoring. Recommendations For future experiments, in order to improve precision of the measured values, and ampliation of the possibilities of the sensor application, we recommend previous calibration of the sensor using a preheater and a resistor to adjust the low resistance levels. Another factor that should be observed is the closed system on which the test will take place, where a proper insulate system should be applied in order to minimize the effects of interference to the measured values by the sensor. Thank you.